Good morning, everyone. Welcome to James Cruz Head Ed Club. This morning, we'll be hearing from Olivia Crooks. Hello, I have a video for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. When I was little, I was always fascinated with nature. I found myself outside every day after school until it got dark out. It wasn't until I started to explore my curiosities that I began to discover new things in nature. Every year, my family and I travel to Sanibel Island, Florida. My family and I are always doing something, whether it's going on bike rides or eating at our favorite restaurants. However, my personal favorite is going to the beach, and when I was little, I started taking note of these little things that poked out of the sand. I was surprised to figure out that what I had found was nothing other than sea snails. I made it my mission to find as many of them as I could because they were so interesting to me. I began to take note of the differences between the ones I had found, but I always made sure to do one thing, return them to their home, the ocean. However, I soon began to figure out that not all people on the beach believe in the preservation of these creatures. Due to the fact that sea snails are alive, a lot of times it can be slightly annoying when you think you've found this amazing shell only to find out that it's the home to a little snail. With that being said, a lot of individuals will actually take the sea snails out of their home and hang them upside down with a fishing hook in order to force them out of their shell, simply because it happens to be larger in size than a shell without a snail in it. I began to see that people value a trophy over a life, and although someone may think that one little snail won't be missed, it builds up over time. Although sea snails may seem insignificant, they are not only a food source to other organisms, but they actually play a role in identifying the increasing acidification of our oceans. When humans increase the amount of CO2 released into the atmosphere through the burning of fossil fuels, the acidification of our oceans increase. And as a result, sea snail shells are weathering away. Although sea snails might not die as a result of their shells disintegrating, it makes them more at risk and can have damaging effects on the current food chain in place. Both of these issues are caused by humans, but it's highly unlikely that all of us are fully aware of the effect we have on them, because it's pretty much impossible to know every creature that lives on Earth. However, all sea creatures, snails included, are facing preventable issues, and it may seem daring to take on the task of protecting our oceans as well as all of the organisms in it, but we can start small with educating ourselves about the many problems they face, such as increasing acidification, and then we can move forwards as a whole to try to put our knowledge in action. I want to go back to my younger ways. I want to rediscover my sense of adventure while being outside. I want to start being able to truly take all of my surroundings in again, instead of having all of my attention directed at my phone. I think if we can all focus on being a little more present when we are outside, then maybe we too can discover something unknown, such as sea snails. And if we allow ourselves to learn about them and not push them to the side, then we can all play a role in doing something for the greater good of our planet. And maybe over time, we can all start the process of piecing together snails' shells again, one at a time. Thank you.